Hey, what's going on, everybody? The topic for today is the black woman does not want to deal with the black man. I'm going to say it again. The black, the black woman does not want to deal with the black man. Why is that? Everybody keeps saying that the black man is not productive. Well, sweetie, I'm going to get you corrected. The black men in your neighborhood, in your environment, in your circle are not productive. That's why you don't like black men. Have you met me before? Have you been around black billionaires, black men that are billionaires? Have you been around black men that are millionaires? I bet I guarantee you have never been around millionaires, black men that are millionaires that are doing good. You know one thing? They wouldn't want to be around you anyway. What are you doing? See, that's my problem with the black woman. She requires a lot. Right? But what do you have to bring to the table, though? You say the black woman is not productive, right? She, he's not doing anything. He can't do anything for you. Are you a baby? What have you been doing for yourself? Oh, I'm tired with niggas, man. I don't want to deal with the black man. Fuck black man. I'd rather be with a poor white man instead of taking a, 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 a black man. Really? What you mean is that all the black men that you've been dealing with from your area are nothing but losers. And you'd rather take another loser in the same area who's happened to be white. Self-hate right there. You don't like what you see. That's why you're putting that weaves on, the, the, the weaves on and the wigs. You don't like what you see. It's simple. I know you're gonna argue, you're gonna come with arguments saying that, oh man, that's not true. Women can be pretty too. Women can do whatever they wanna do. No, if you, when you look in the mirror, you know you don't like what you see. How are you gonna tell me that your skin is dark, as dark as this remote right there, right? You're a very dark skinned woman. You have a lot of melanin pigmentation on your body, and you're putting some blonde weaves or some blonde wig. In your head. You do not like your hair. You can fight it. You can be mad. You can be upset. You can come up with excuses. You do not like the way you look. And most black women. I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> they are using excuses man. It's not because. The black man is not productive because they know some areas that they go, they'll see some black man. They'll be like, oh, this is not in my level. This man is, you know, he got it going on. This man has his head on his shoulders. Man, what am I going to say to him? The man just opened his mouth. I don't even know what he's talking, what he's talking about because his vocabulary, like the way he's talking, man, it's just different. Mm -mm, that's not the kind of man that I used to date. Of course, you're a hood rat. What did you expect? Hmm? They are using excuses Saying that the black man is not productive Because that's what they used to So that they can go out there and date another race Why? Because when they look in the mirror They don't like what they see They do not want the black man To remind them of what they look like I'm going to tell you something and this is, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. When you see a black man walking around with a bunny, with a white girl, you see the black man walking like this. And the white girl is just always asking, hey, what, um, what happened? You okay? Like always trying to please him. Because let me tell you something. He does not have low self-esteem. He chose to be with you. He got the money. Most of the time you see black men with money. They have the baddest girl, the baddest white girl, right? Or the baddest black girl or the baddest Latina girl, right? But they're not following him like a puppy. I'm, they're not following them 
These women like puppies, right? You see this black man, they just, they're confident in their skin. Even, if, even when they don't have money, you see them like they just act normal in the street. When you see a black woman in the street with a white man, she doesn't know how to act. Why is that? If she, she's dating a white guy, that's when she got to go to all her friend's house. Hey, you want to meet my boyfriend? Hey. You see? <laughs> that's my boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's girl. Low self-esteem. Because she does not like what she sees. Who told you that you were ugly? Do they know how to fix your face? Whoever told you that you were ugly, right? Can they help you fix your face to have a better one? Have you ever asked yourself, when was the last time you see, <clears throat> you saw anybody said, um, monkeys are ugly. Have you ever thought about this? Probably not. You ever seen people like playing with monkeys, like touching monkeys, <clears throat> giving, giving them bananas, like, ooh. Man, look at this monkey. Look how amazing they look. Look how, look, see? A monkey is not the same thing as, a, as an ape. Or a chimpanzee. They, 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 you could see that it's the same kind of gene, but they do not look the same way. But nobody's saying that the chimpanzee, uh, the ape, or the monkeys uh, uh, are ugly. Let's take another one. Sloth. Has anybody ever told you that sloth? Oh, sloths, man. Now, they, they, they too slow. That would have been redundant. It was designed by nature to be like that. Can you change it? You look the way you look for a reason, but you're too lazy to read them books to understand why you look the way you look. If you knew who you were, if, I mean, if you knew who you are, you would never believe when somebody told you, hey, you ugly. You'd be like, oh, thank you. Oh, you're cute. That's right. But when you do not have the knowledge, you know what it causes? It causes low self-esteem. You need to arm yourself with knowledge to understand why you look the way you look. Then you will start showing respect to your man. You ever notice nobody, everybody comes to America, they have no respect to the, for the black woman? They have no respect for the black men is because the black man does not respect the black woman and the black woman does not respect the black man. She'd rather be in a house alone. She'd rather be lonely, running man in the house left and right. She's not going to be with a black man in the house. She got it all twisted. She thinks that black men are no good. No, the ones that you're dating, the ones that you hang out with, the ones that you're associating yourself with are no good. Why don't you go to places where there are productive black men and see if they will want to be with you because you'll be that same hood rat that you never wanted to be with in the first place. Every time you get up in the morning, these black men that you're associating yourself with, they're reminding you of who you are. They are reminding you of who you are, which is why you do not want to be around them. You wish that they could do something different. That's all they know, and that's all you know. What do you expect from them? Go to school, get a degree, or drop it. Say, never mind. Who cares about school? I'm autodidacted. I can read books. I can come up. I can be an entrepreneur and start reading books and start go, you know, going to different meetings, meeting people with ideas, strong, intelligent black men, respectful black men, 
and they will change your mind in one day. You'll be like, uh-uh, I need to leave my neighborhood. That's what I need to do. And you'll start thinking differently. And this goes out to any race. You can be white, you can be Asian, you can be Latino. It's not about the man that you're dating. Man, these men don't want to do anything for me. Or oh, these white men, all they want to do uh, is fuck because they're handsome, they got money. Well, guess what? Change the environment. Start dating new people. Go to different areas. And you're going to have different experiences. That's all. It's simple. Stop being stupid, man. And... The, the black woman always say, oh, man, I do not want to be with black men because they're stupid. <clears throat> they're not going to take care of the babies and everything. You have four children with four different men. <clears throat> and you're a black woman. And all the fathers are black men, right? Why is that you're not with one of them? Oh, are they all bad? And you're the only one who's good? I mean, you got to think about it. If you had four children or three children with one man and he walked out on you, he did not want, he did not want to take his responsibility, right? And you start dating another man again. You have three or four with this guy. He did the same thing. It's like a pattern now. If you do not have the right people around you, I could give you a pass with that nonsense saying that our black men are no good because I tried two of them. They gave me six children. Nothing worked. But you have four children by four different black men. None of them is with you. Why is that? Is it your mouth that is kicking them out of the house? Is it? What is it? And I'm going to tell you something. You knew who they were before you opened your legs for them, baby. Don't lie. Don't pretend that you didn't know this man didn't care about his kids. You knew he had kids before. You knew he wasn't the type of guy who was going to settle. You knew he didn't want to be married to anyone. You knew it. You gave him children anyway. Deal with it. I'm sorry. I know it hurts. The truth hurts. But deal with it. You chose the man. You liked him. He, oh man, shit. This guy, oh my God, girl. I almost passed out. Man, he has a big, 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 big D. He gave me some vitamin D, girl. You like him for his till, right? Then be happy. Don't go to complain. Don't go to your friends and complain because that man with the big D does not want to take care of the kids. That's all he can give you, the D. Most black women, what they do now, these days, I don't understand if it's an epidemic or what it is. Hey, I, I heard him talking. They have no problem saying it in front of you. If I'm, if I'm talking to a guy, I mean, I want to see your dick first. I don't want to waste my time. If you have kids, like, I'm sorry, like, have them go to, to, the, to a different room because this is serious conversation that we're having now. Oh, man, if he doesn't have a big take or, man, you got to have, you got to have it big because I'm not going to waste my time with a, with a man with a small dick. You know why you think his dick is small? It's because you're mad loose. You have a lot of mileage on that vagina. A car, when you drive it too much, too much mileage, it's going to break down. So the vagina is the same thing too. If you've been letting a bunch of men running through you with different size of tools, you're always going to get some bigger, bigger, until you lose what you call the sensation. All the nerves in your vagina are dead. Now nobody can help you. Nobody can satisfy your needs. Now you're on the internet trying to date a man who you don't care what he does. For a living, you don't care if he has STDs. As long as he has that, the black mamba. Oh shit! Because that's all you think about. And when this man comes to your house, gets you pregnant, and he leaves, you're gonna go black. You're gonna go and say black men are good. You stupid motherfucker. You're the one that is no good. That is causing these children to become fatherless. 
to become waste of society. Don't have nobody to watch on them. Story, so, uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, something just happened like a week ago in Sacramento. 17 year old boy, right? Uh, this kid uh, is my neighbor. He came and said, hey, Will, uh, you know, man, you know one of my friends just died because an Uber driver was driving and then they, he was wearing his seatbelt and they weren't, they were sitting in the back. They, they didn't have a ride home. And then he hits the curve on the freeway and the kids flew out of the car and they both dead. I said, wait a minute, really? 17 didn't have a place, they didn't have a ride. Where were, where, where were their parents? Oh, mom was at work. Where was his dad? Oh, um, he doesn't know his dad. Uh, his dad probably was not around and his, they're not together. If the father was in <clears throat> the boy's life, he might still be alive today. Dad, mom is at work. Can you come pick me up? He would have never ordered that stupid Uber driver, drunk Uber driver, and now he's dead. His funeral is today at four. 17 year old, handsome boy, gone. Baby, finished. I don't care what you say, how but how big, how how good you're doing, you do, how good you're doing in life, how successful you are, how much of a strong woman that you are, you cannot raise a kid by yourself. It's not the natural order. I'm sorry. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how financially stable you are. How much? How many people that can help you? How many babysitters that you can get to watch over your kid? You cannot raise a child by yourself. Stop dating a man because he's cute or because he has a big D, because he can give you the vitamin D. That's all he can give you. Deal with it. Don't go out there and blame and criticize them because you're no good in the first place. You got nothing going on. Were you doing good when you were with them? Were you making a lot of money and they came and destroyed and took over your house and stole or wasted all your money and then now you got nothing? No, you were struggling too. But these are the men that you associated yourself with. Now deal with the consequences. Causing these children to die. Going to the liquor store. Uh, or <clears throat> going to the corner stores. Going to the Indian stores and trying to rob. These people, they're not your friends. They don't care if, you children, if you're a kid. You come and try to steal shit from their store. They'll shoot you in the back. Do you know how many black kids? How many white kids? Latino, Latina kids got killed in the, at the corner stores because they went and stole something that's not even valuable. Why? Because mom was not there to watch over them. Or mom was at work, didn't have time to watch over them. Mom kicked the men out of the house and the man was not there to take over when mom was at work. I got kids coming to me, 13-year-old kid. 15 year old kid talking about kids talking about oh man I went to that place to have some fun to skating and everything uh 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 and these kids uh, they, they they pull up in the car and asking us if we're game bangers and we were afraid we didn't know what we what to say and they started shooting out shooting at us what a 12 and 14 year old boy is doing in the street at one o'clock one one a.m. and he has parents. I'm like, really? What were you doing in the street at 1 a.m.? Uh, mom was at work. I didn't have a ride home. So we had to stay over until, until uh, one of our uh, friend's parents come to pick us up. That's how these kids are dying. These kids are dying because the parents are being irresponsible. Yes. And the black women, what they want to do they want to give the man child support. Oh, he's not being responsible. You knew who he was before you had sex with him. You knew who he was. Oh, man. Like, I'm going to give him child support. I'm going to fuck his life over. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep all the kids so that I can file the taxes. Get ready to bury them, too. Because these kids, they're going to grow up. They're going to grow up without a father. They're going to be disrespectful. They do not know how to act and interact with the police out there, especially in the streets of America. Hmm. You go talk to the police like you're talking to your mom? When these men are having a lot of stress 
anxiety or kind of problem thinking that you probably have a gun on you. You're a little black kid, a black boy. <laughs> and these kids, you know, thinking that they're talking to mom. Fuck you, man. I don't fucking touch me. I can fight you. These cops are lazy as fuck. Some of them are cowards in high school. Wanted to be cops so bad so that they could feel like they have power because they gave him something that gave him power. And you're going to disrespect this man when he's a coward in high school? Boom, I thought he had a gun. <laughs> you're, you're gone. It takes a man to teach a little boy how to be a man. Not a loser, a man. And it also takes a man to teach a little girl how to have confidence when she's talking to you. She's looking at you dead in the eye and say, yes, no, I don't want to be with you. Yes, I'm okay. As long as you do what you say, I'm going to be with you. But if you lie to me, you out of here. That's a woman who was raised by a man and a woman. But if she was raised by, if she was raised by her mother, you're talking to her and you're dressing nice and she likes you, she doesn't know how to act. Because oh, she keeps thinking how cute you are, how handsome, how nice you look. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Sure. Oh, uh, maybe. Call me. <laughs> no father in the house. If you like the videos, subscribe, share, put some comments. Because you already know. I'm about reality, man. This is what well is about. You don't like the truth? Watch somebody else to tell you what you want to hear. You want to put some order in your life? Discipline? You want to fix yourself? Keep watching this. It's going to hurt. Yeah. And then you'll see some result. It's like the same thing. I'm going to use an analogy. When you work, you're tired, pain, and then you gain. You know what they say? No pain, no gain. Talk to you later.